Hello and welcome to the third tutorial in the SFML 2.1 tutorial series and in this part we're going to be looking at introduction to events. So we'll be using the source code from the previous part of the series that we actually set up a project in that part. There'll be a link in the description to the source code if you don't have it. Okay, we will take a look at event handling within SFML. Even handling, and I mean event handling will be spread out over several tutorials, but you should be able to get just of how SFML ha handles events um, from any other tutorials. Okay, SFML uses event handling for the following keyboard input, mouse input, joystick input, I don't know if people still use joysticks, uh, window input, uh, window events, so stuff like resizing the window, I mean the application window, and text input. You may, you may remember from the last tutorial that we mentioned that uh, the Windows close button didn't work as the event hadn't been implemented. We will do that now. First of all, what we need to do is create an event. So we're going to do SF event event. The next step is to create a while loop to process the events, and this is all within the window that is open while loop. So we're going to do while, and now in here we're going to put window poll event, and what we're going to pass in is basically the event that we just created here. And this loop will run every time an event occurs. Inside here we can check for different events as we won't want to handle all the events triggered. We just check for certain ones and then perform the set code. We will check for the window close button being pressed for this tutorial. We're going to do switch event dot type. Basically we're going to check what sort of event type. You can do an if, if else statement if you want. It's totally up to you. And now in here we're going to do case sf event closed window dot close. Then we'll put a break statement. We'll sort out the format in the way we like it. And now if we just run this. We can now move our window around because we are handling events. Based on when we click this, it will close it. But I'm just going to comment this out for a moment. Now run it again. Now if I click the X button, even though I can actually click it on like the previous tutorial where events hadn't been handled, so I couldn't even click it. I can click it, but nothing happened because the functionality hasn't been implemented. So we've, it's just simple to implement this window dot close. That is it for this part. One thing to note is that SF event is a union, hence only one instance of SF, SF event can be used at any given time, as all members of a union share the same memory space. It's something to be aware of. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.